Good day, our space. Yeah, I brought it back. I enjoy that one. In this episode, we've got a few different stories, all with a little bit of a twist. So sit back, relax, and enjoy them. First up, partner, 25 female, of six years, cheated on me, 24 male, with personal trainer, over 30 male. After six years of dating, we met when I was in college and started dating second semester. Two dogs and everything in between, my partner completely broke my heart. She said she was going out with friends from work, which has been happening more recently over the past few months. This has seemed more and more unusual since I've never known her to be an extraordinarily social person, but now she goes out at least three times a week. I've been suspicious since her sexual interest in me has dropped dramatically recently and she seemingly always has her phone wherever she goes when she used to leave it lying around. After she left for the night, I logged on to her Instagram, I don't have one, to look at some pictures of her dogs hoping that would help me cure my boredom or sadness of being left alone again. Naturally, my curiosity got the best of me and I looked through her DMs with the first message from her personal trainer saying he would see her soon. Obviously, that was a big red flag and I went through the conversation as far as I could where she sent him nudes, said she missed him, and sexted. I couldn't stand reading any more of it, so I pretty much freaked out and packed all of my crap right then, threw it in my car, was about to leave when she pulls in. She tries to stop me. I tell her to get the F off of me and leave for my parents' house. Made it about two hours before I realized what I'm doing and that it's 3 a.m. She calls me and somehow convinces me to come back to our apartment so we can have an in-person conversation so she can explain herself. I could tell this was a ploy to get me back, but she insisted it wasn't. I decided that maybe if I went back, I would listen to whatever BS she had to say and then leave in the morning. After four hours of sleep, she wakes me up and admits to cheating on me and says her actions were wrong. Fine. She then asks that I understand why she did this and then proceeds to ask for forgiveness. I can understand that I have responsibility in a relationship not being ideal, but everything she mentioned that I did wrong in the relationship, I have been deliberately working on and she acknowledged that too. I left after that conversation and still have no idea what will happen with our dogs. I guess the details will fall into place. For now, they are living with her. However, I cannot use my failure to meet her expectations as a justification for her cheating. Even though I know this, I still feel like this is somehow my fault. Worse, she insists that they never had sex and only kissed. I highly doubt this, but will never know the truth. Okay, two comments from the community, then we'll move on to the next one. First one's from their Sam Hatch. Adults never just kiss. Let's get that out there right now. They were meeting up alone for weeks. They weren't having middle school style makeout sessions. None of this is your fault. The fact that she blames your shortcomings are all the proof in the world that this will not work. She can't be remorseful if she says it's all your fault for not doing A, B, or C. This is 100% her doing. Do not get back with this woman. She is not taking accountability for her own actions. Leave her. A good thought from I've done the work. Listen, it does not matter if you were the worst boyfriend in the world. She did the cheating, not you. She is at fault for cheating. When you had your talk about it, you say she was trying to make it all your fault and none of hers? Look, how can anyone give you any sort of well-considered advice with nothing much to go on? Posters do this constantly. They want help, but don't say enough to get the help. I'm not touting you should break up without trying to find out exactly what the problem is and making an attempt to repair the mess. You didn't say enough to know if she is a redeemable cheater or not. So here are a few resources to start deciding for yourself. The gut feelings of once a cheater, always a cheater, and it's always a purposeful, nasty choice is not always true. You decide based on understanding instead of the opinion of others who haven't even attempted to understand what might be the root cause and psychological motivation behind infidelity. Motivation and opportunity is all it takes for anyone to cheat. What was her motivation? Know this. When cheating, there are certain psychological anomalies that have begun kicking in to make it seem as if it is obvious, but it isn't. Cheaters compartmentalize, dissociate, and employ cognitive dissonance to effectively seem like two completely different people. And it is not done purposefully. When an affair is based upon an emotional bond and physical attraction and intimacy as well, that person is no longer operating with normal reality. They are enveloped with the fog of the affair, limerence, and are not acting and thinking normally. Look up limerence. 
compartmentalizing, cognitive dissonance, and dissociating. Certainly, cheating happens as a beginning series of choices, but not all choices had intended consequences. 95% of everything we do is a choice, but most choices had unintended consequences. A person makes a choice to walk barefoot, but they do not choose to stub their toe or step on a piece of glass. Those were unintended consequences. It is still an unknown what happened in your case, so try to explain more. Not everyone on these subs is calling for you to go scorched earth. You make your own choices in this mess, but choose based upon what you know, not what others tell you. Good luck. And moving on to the next story. I, male 18, feel guilty for ending things with my cheating ex, female 18. Really? Feel guilty? Sucker. One week ago, I found out that my now ex-girlfriend has been emotionally cheating on me with a coworker. She said that because she has been spending more time at work with him, she has grown close with him and she has sent him explicit pictures and has admitted to me that she likes him. She says that this has only happened within the last few days. Me and her haven't been intimate and haven't seen each other in person also for the last few days. As soon as I found out the news, my heart sank. I knew that we couldn't be together and I knew that she could not be in my life in any capacity for the well-being of my mental health. Due to me being non-confrontational and mainly me being a coward, I told her that we could still be friends and that she could stay in my life. This was because I still love, mainly miss, the person that she was and the relationship we had. Upon reflection, I suspect that she was lying about the fact that it has only been happening for the last few days of the relationship, as the person she was talking to has been messaging her for a long time and she has been growing distant from me for the last few months. So the next day, I didn't contact her, and when she did call me, I answered and was brave enough to tell her that I didn't want her in my life anymore. She then texted me saying that she needed me in her life and she still loves me. I did feel guilty for giving her false hope of a friendship, so I've written her a letter explaining why I can't have her in my life anymore, but all I can think about is how she apparently still cares. My dilemma is that I miss her, I want her back, but I know I can't forgive what she's done and I won't truly be happy. I've deleted social media off my phone. My accounts have not been deleted, so I can't check to see if she's active. I just feel guilty even though she was the one who cheated. Let's see what the community does to this one. Mr. Niz says, Don't feel guilty. Don't beat yourself up. You did nothing wrong, except perhaps a tactical error of extending the hope of being friends again. That clearly was a mistake, but hey, this isn't a final exam in algebra. You're allowed to make mistakes. Don't give her false hopes. Don't validate her actions by being the nice guy who is friends with his ex-girlfriend. See that for what it is. Her desire to manipulate you into a position where she can have things both ways. It's called cake eating for a reason. She has messaged you quite succinctly that she isn't interested in a loving relationship with you by her actions, not her words. If she loves you as she says she does, you'd never have found out about her cheating because she wouldn't have done it. Adultery is inherently not an action about loving your partner. It's the reverse of that. You're grieving your loss and feel alone and depressed right now. Of course you do. Betrayal is hard to ask to get over immediately. Just don't let this dominate your life. You are not just this one instance of a partner's betrayal. You are ridiculously young. You have an entire life of highs and lows ahead of you. There will be more women. There will be a better class of women, hopefully. But you must do the work yourself. Focus on you. Be the better man you can be. Let go of the person who hurt you. Don't worry about her life. That's on her now. She chose her own path in life. She gets to follow it on her own. It's not your circus anymore. The next comment comes from deleted, although I don't know if that means it was actually deleted or that's just a lucky username. The reason you feel guilty is because you're a damn good person. I remember the time my first ever real girlfriend told me she cheated on me. I screamed and yelled and cursed and then after it was all said and done, gave her a chance two hours later. Only thing that came out of it was more emotional and physical cheating on her part as I let it all happen because I felt guilty ending it. I used to think that regardless of what she was doing to me, I still needed her in my life and somehow or some way I could make this work. I couldn't and in the end, the toll it took on me was worse than it could have been if I would have just walked away the first time. I understand where you're coming from, but you did the right thing, man. The pain that will continue to happen is worse than what you felt when you first found out. Go no contact with her, man. You need time to heal and recover. I know you'll miss her and feel so much guilt, but I promise you, once you recover more, you'll learn to understand that it's more healthier for you this way. It may be confusing right now, but the answers will show themselves 
and you'll walk away so much better for it. I seriously hope everything works out, man. And if you ever need to talk, I'm here for you. The OP thanks him and says, thanks for the advice. Having another opinion with the anonymity of my throwaway account makes me feel better as it feels as if people aren't just telling me what I want to hear. And now it's time for the last story of this episode. She did everything she can to destroy my reputation in front of my friends and her family. I don't know how to deal with that. I dated her for six months and she was so sweet and awesome. Even her parents considered me as their son or used to. They are strict with quarantine and social distancing and I work at a risky environment with COVID. But even with that, her mom would come, hug me and tell me that no matter what the risk is I am like her son. Didn't know what happened during the time she told me her parents are acting weird about me now and I never gave it a thought. Days later, her dad calls me angry, cursing and telling me to stay away from his daughter. I was respectful and never talked back in a bad way. Later, she says it is better for us to break up. I was like, okay. And she was like, but I want to stay friends. And I was like, okay. She kept texting me every morning for three days. I was like, okay, it's fine. I gotta be nice and text for myself. It seems she wants to be friends. She never responded, then I got blocked. I was like, okay, it is whatever. During that time, I didn't tell my friends that we broke up. I got a text from my friend that says that she posted a pic of her and a guy kissing and saying happy one month anniversary. I was devastated. It became worse when people inquired and she told everyone that she was in a toxic relationship and even went so far that she told one of my coworkers that I'm addicted to meth and coke and I got suspended from work and was about to get fired if I didn't do a drug test. I've never done drugs. I just don't freaking know what to do. Many people now think I am an a-hole. Many unfollowed me and think I am some crazy dude. Why couldn't she just break up in a nice way, expressing that she lost interest and is interested in pursuing a relationship with someone else? Why destroy my reputation in my friends and my professional circle? Why even affect my job and career? I have moved on, but I keep getting bothered with anything that she has, like seeing someone with the same name or hairstyle. I just remember her and it does hurt. How do you guys cope with these situations? Edit. So she never really shared anything on public, but instead started talking crap about me to people who know people and it eventually went around since it was my high school college circle. I wanted to sue, but for what? For her stating rumors and drama? I have a better chance suing Walmart for tripping because my shoelaces were not tied and get money instead of suing her. For my job, one of my coworkers is friends of hers and I work with vulnerable people. So someone coming and saying I heard X is enough to send me home until I chest for drugs. My main question is how to cope with knowing that someone that is so sick has done that intentionally to hurt me for no justified reason. Till this time it hurts. It has been six months since all of this drama finished, but I still get panic attacks from remembering it and these days I end up having nightmares. All right community, help this guy out. Revolutionary Hat 688 says, not sure what country you're from, but all those things can be sued over. Sounds like she is trashing you with falsehoods. With the internet, this can have consequences for your future. Say you want a job and HR does a search on you. Finds all this talk about drugs? I would see a lawyer. You could force her to retract it online or get a payment for damages. See a lawyer and show in the proof. The OP responds, so she never shared that online. The only crap she shared online was like a post about how women suffer with abusive partners, but she never mentioned my name. When people ask her about that, she would tell them, oh, my last ex was abusive and crap like that. 